high if you can notice in the surroundings that there is one shape which is majorly used by architects and engineers and most commonly seen in different structures like rooftops and bridges etc that shape is triangle if we split the name triangle tri means 3 and angles means the corners made by two sides that means if a shape have three sides and they form three angles then it is called as a triangle and triangles have three end points and each end point is called as vertex and all the end points together are called as vertices now we are familiar with the shape triangle so let's learn some important things about it So most important thing we should know about triangles is that there are such shapes that when we add measures of all the three angles of triangle it will always give you 180 degrees and second thing we should know that the angles measured and lengths of sides of triangle are closely related or in other way we can say that they are interdependent so for better understanding of this property of triangle consider this example so let me take three randomly sized line segments and uh, let me form a triangle out of them so let me start with uh, this line the first line and uh, uh, let me take the second line and make some angle and uh, let me take this third line as well uh, oh now i'm falling short of the length so what i can do is uh, either i have to increase the length of the third side or i have to decrease the angle made by the first side and the second side then only i can complete this triangle so from this what we are understanding is we can't make any triangle with just the three lines and any angles we have to maintain proper lengths of the sides and proper angles to form a particular triangle So let's play with this property a bit by taking different possibilities. So this time let me take uh, three equal line segments and let me try to form a triangle out of them. So when these three equal line segments come together to form a triangle, they have to make three equal angles. Then only a triangle is possible out of them. When I'm saying it is forming a triangle with three equal angles then each angle has to be 60 degrees because addition of three angles of triangle is always 180 degrees so from this we can conclude that whenever in a triangle if three sides are equal to each other then three angles formed out of them will also be equal to each other and therefore such triangles are called as equilateral triangle If you split this word equi means equal lateral means sides so we have seen the case of three equal line segments forming a triangle so now let's say what if we are having only two equal line segments and third one is not equal to them we have to make a triangle out of them then what happens they will form a triangle where only two angles will be equal to each other otherwise triangle is not possible So try to figure out the relation when we had three equal sides we got three equal angles here we are having two equal sides so we are getting two equal angles and how to identify those equal angles those two equal angles will be opposite to the equal sides such triangles are called as isosceles triangle if you split the term isosceles iso means same and celos means two sides or two legs so this term indicates that whenever we have two equal sides in a triangle we will get two equal angles and those equal angles are opposite to the equal sides but we are not talking about the third side the unequal side the third side may be equal or may not be equal to the remaining two sides if it is not equal then that's fine but if this third side is equal to the remaining two sides then all three sides will become equal and it becomes a case of equilateral triangle 
which we have studied earlier so from this we understand that all equilateral triangles are isosceles triangles but not all isosceles triangles are equilateral hope you understood this so now let's take up a case of three different or you can say unequal sides and let's try to form a triangle out of them and now this is the third case where we need to understand that when three sides are not equal to each other then three angles formed will also be not equal to each other then only this triangle is possible and such triangles are called as scalene triangles the meaning of the term scalene itself is unequal now let's learn about most important and special type of a triangle there are many concepts are available based on this triangle like trigonometry pythagoras theorem so any guesses yes you're right it is a right angle triangle angle 90 degrees is always called as a right angle so whenever in a triangle if you see any angle is measuring 90 degrees then that triangle is called as right angled triangle and one most important thing you should know is a triangle can contain only one right angle if you try to bring in more than one right angle then triangle is not possible okay so that means in a triangle if one angle is right angle then remaining two angles has to be less than 90 degrees means smaller than right angle so now here comes two cases then these two angles may be equal to each other may not be equal to each other so let's consider the first case if these two angles are equal to each other then they have to be 45 degrees now i just want you to recollect that when two angles are equal then it is following the property of isosceles triangle where we learned that any two angles of a triangle will be equal to each other so in such cases the sides opposite to equal angles will also be equal to each other now again it is a property of isosceles triangle so that means this triangle is following the property of isosceles triangle as well as right angle triangle so such triangles are called as isosceles right angled triangle okay now let's move on to case number 2 when these two remaining angles other than right angle if they are not equal to each other then all the three angles are different that means all the three sides will have different lengths means it is following a property of scalene triangle where we have learned that all the three sides will have different lengths so they form all the three angles of different measures that means it is a scalene triangle as well as a right angle triangle such triangles are called as scalene right angled triangle So in this session we have learned the basic concepts of triangles and we have seen different types of triangles hope you understood this session thank you